an alternative policy of an export quota. Now, this is particularly relevant in the case of the United States because we do not allow export taxes in the United States constitutionally. Export taxes are banned in the Constitution in the United States. So the amount of of uh, flexibility that the government has in terms of uh, export policies is, is, is limited. But you can't have an export quota. You can limit the amount of product that's sold abroad by restricting the amount of exports directly by a quantitative restriction as opposed to taxing uh, exports. So this is a uh, has, has similar uh, effects to an export tax because you are reducing exports, you're going to reduce the domestic uh, prices, um, and uh, hurt producers and help consumers. But there are important differences, and it essentially has to do with the tax revenue. The government's not gaining any tax revenue in the, with an export uh, quota directly, that is. But there are quota rents. Now, what do I mean by that? That is to say that it's possible that the, in fact, it's likely that the domestic price will be lower than the international prices of this product. You put on a quota, it lowers the domestic price to 90, while, while the, the world price is, is 100. That is to say, anybody that can get access, any export that can get access to the international market can receive an easy $10 above what they can get domestically. That means that their quota rents, that is to say payments over and above the opportunity cost. And the government potentially can be the one deciding who it is that gets that access, which exporters are able to get to the international market with those higher prices. And this puts power in the hands of the government to reward one exporter as opposed uh, to another. The United States, we have some export quotas, really export quotas of zero. We ban exports of certain products. But you also have, probably more relevant, instances of a, for example, OPEC, where countries will restrict the amount of exports through production quotas that are uh, meant for exports in benefiting the, um, uh, the, uh, the government by their ability to exploit these, uh, uh, these, quota, these quota rents. And that really brings up the, uh, the other aspect of, of an export quota, the large versus the small country. The small country, as with the export tax, all of the impact is felt within the country. The rest of the world doesn't care. The domestic price falls, you may have quota rents to allocate, but there's really no impact on the international market. But if you're a large country that restricts the amount of exports into the international market, that raises the price of this product internationally, and this can potentially benefit the uh, domestic economy. And here's a depiction of a large country export quota. We have, and this is similar to a voluntary export restraint that we discussed on the import side of things, but this is from the, the standpoint of the, of the exporting firm. So let's imagine that the original price is, is P1. The domestic consumption is HA, that, that distance, and the domestic production is HC. And the difference, AC, is the is the original amount of, of exports. And then there's a quota. There's a quota equal to the distance between A and B. That is to say, a quota, an export quota, that is less than the firms are able to sell in free trade. Now, that means that there's going to be excess supply domestically. That'll tend to lower the price domestically. And that restriction in the amount of exports is going to have a, an impact on the world price. So let's say that the world price goes up to P3. Okay, so that's the international price. 
What is the domestic price? Well, that's going to be where the amount demanded for this product from domestic and foreign sources equals the domestic supply. So in this graph, we have a, a dark line, this is labeled D double prime, which is the net demand for this product from both domestic and foreign sources. So at price P1, the domestic producer uh, or consumer uh, cons uh, demands HA, and then AB is the amount that is, uh, can be sold internationally. And at price P2, you have demand equal to GF, and exports are allowed equal to FE. So at that price P2, we have a, world, a domestic price of P2, a domestic consumption of GF, a, an exports of FE, and then we have an associated world price of this product, P3. So what are the, the export quota rents now? Well, they're going to be R, J, E, F. That is to say, that is the amount of quota rent that is available to domestic producers, potentially, if they gain access to the international market. And you have a bit of this quota rent, which is passed on to foreign consumers of this product. That is R, T, S, J. That is the part of the quota rent that comes from increases in the world price. And this is potentially quite advantageous to the, to the domestic exporter. If you can restrict the amount of exports, you can get higher prices in the international market, and you have the, the potential for domestic exporters to really like this kind of policy. And again, a good analogy to this would be a uh, how uh, the, uh, the how OPEC operates and has a export quotas which which uh, in the end increase the the world price of the product. So in this slide, uh, I basically just summarized all of the effects that I just uh, went through in the in the previous slide, and you just take a look at this at at your leisure and identify all of the, the various effects on consumers, producers, and, and prices. As with the export tax, the export quota can increase the domestic welfare of the large country if the terms of trade effect, RJST, exceed the two dead weight losses of ATF and SEC. And domestic uh, exporters will fight over the rents. These rents include not only the terms of trade effects of RTSJ, but also the other rents, RFES, that individual domestic producers can earn if they gain access to the international market. But broadly speaking, the large country export quota gives strong incentives for individual firms in the exporting market to lobby to gain access to the international market.